Welcome to our five on five. We're pleased to be joined by a couple ladies from the Red Cross, Christine Dunlap and Amy Thurin. Amy, uh, let me start with Red Cross Month. That, it's March. Tell us about this. March is Red Cross Month. In 1943, President Franklin Roosevelt declared Red Cross Month um, for March for the first time with a goal of raising $125 million, which they did in about six weeks. Mm. And so every year since, we've had Red Cross Month where we um, call everybody to action to donate blood, become a disaster blood volunteer, um, take CPR first aid class, or make a donation. Mm -hmm. All right, so Christine, she talked to, Amy talked about some of those things you can do to help. Uh, how much of a commitment does it take? Um, to donate blood, it takes about an hour. Um, not everyone is eligible, but you, if you have el eligibility questions, you're more than welcome to come in and mm -hmm answer the questions they'll be able to tell you. Um, it's about an hour of your time. The blood donation mm -hmm. only takes about five to 12 minutes of that hour. Okay. Sure. It's mainly a little mini health health history, physical findings, and then the actual blood draw is not an hour. It's just it's, about five to 10 minutes. Yeah, okay, and you get a cookie with that, right? Um, cookies, juice, coffee, yeah. depends on where you go. Um, yeah. different, different blood drives have different um, refreshments, but always cookies, always juice. Okay, very cool, a lot of fun. All right, so, and Amy, you were telling me something about the disasters. Uh, they're not just simply a, a tsunami in Japan that affects the coast here. There's disasters all the time, correct? There is. In southern Oregon alone, we have about 70 um, single house fires, resident fires, a year. And we have 80 disaster volunteers who are trained 24-7 to go out and provide them with food, shelter, and clothing immediately after they've been displaced. Mm -hmm. and, and I assume you're, you're kind of always looking to add more people into the fold, always. correct? Always. We can always use more volunteers, for sure. We also send people out on a national level. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. And, and yeah. so we're talking a little earlier about blood and taxes, Christine. What's the, uh, <laughs> what's the connection here? What's going on? Our local hero, um, Marshall Holman, he owns the Medford Liberty Taxes mm -hmm. here in Medford, and he is generally generously donating um, free personal tax services to anyone that donates next week. So we have a drive every day next week, um, Monday and e through Friday, or actually Monday through Saturday. We even have a drive on, sat on Saturday this um, week. And if you come in, donate, you'll get a certificate and you can take it into Marshall's um, one of Marshall's um, sure. sites um, next week and get your personal taxes done for free. Nice timing. Yeah. On that. Yeah. Good promotion. All right. Yes. Well, we're going to take a quick break, ladies. Okay. We'll have much more in just a moment. Stay Thanks. with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Christine Dunlap and Amy Thurn from the Red Cross. Had a great breakfast uh, fundraiser event this morning about local heroes. Amy, tell us about that. Yes, we had our sixth annual Heroes Breakfast, and um, it was at Kids Unlimited this morning. We had eight wonderful stories, all local heroes. Um, they all had in common. They were prepared and ready to act and acted um, in an instant, either to save somebody around them. Amazing. Um, stranger, loved one. Yeah. yeah. Neighbor. They, yeah, Neighbor. exactly. Okay. Yep. And Christine, exactly. uh, you know, people can be a hero themselves, right? And donate blood. Yeah, they can be a hero every day. Every 56 days, you can be a hero again, too, because you can donate every two months. People um, typically don't donate as much as they can, but you can mm -hmm. donate six times a year every 56 days. Um, not everyone does it. Only about 2% of our population yeah. in this county donates or in our local area. So we definitely would like to see that increased at least to the national average, which is 8%, although I have a lot more faith. I think this community could even do better than that. Yeah. Um, and it's it's very simple. It's an hour of your time. You save up to three lives in about an hour. Um, and there is no there is no substitute for blood. Mm -hmm. um, when people need it, it needs to be there. Um, it does take um, us about three days to test it and process it. So if it's not already on our shelves when it's needed, Unfortunately, that's not being prepared. So we really yeah. want to encourage people to be prepared in all ways this March. Yeah, and then of course giving blood, just one of the ways you can help the Red Cross. Amy, tell us, uh, can anyone volunteer to help in, in the other ways? Um, yes, you fill out an online application and you take classes if it is for disaster sure. um, volunteering. We have youth volunteers, we have a youth club at North Medford High. Um, so there's lots of ways to participate. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Okay, and, and website and phone number if you have um, one 800 red cross is the phone number to okay. call to schedule your appointment, or you can also schedule online at redcrossblood.org. You just type in your zip code, find a local blood drive that'll work for you, and... Easy as that. Easy as that. Excellent. Ladies, thank you so much for coming in. Thank Appreciate you for it. having thank us. You. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.